We are actually going to be doing art today. So as you can see, I'm using that eyeshadow really, really, really generously. The category is a neon, darling. I kind of think like this is the ugliest thing I've ever made in my life. Mr. Starshow, activate. It don't matter where you come from, it don't matter where you go. Just sit your ass down, it's time for the Mr. Starshow. <laughs> hey guys, my name is Hobie Star and welcome back to my YouTube channel! Yeah! 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 <laughs> oh my god, it feels so weird. I haven't filmed a video in such a long time and now I'm here again. I haven't actually sat down to make a video in like two weeks and it feels good to be back. But before we even start this video, I have something really, really important to ask you guys. I am currently trying to get to 1,000 subscribers here on my channel. So please, if you like this channel, if you like the content, so go ahead and actually subscribe to this channel because I know you're cute and you want to help. So um, go ahead and do that. Thanks. Now, let's get into the video. We are actually going to be doing art today. I don't know if you know, but I dabble in art. I do like to do all sorts of things, work with all sorts of mediums. I never actually do art art. I never actually paint, create my own drawings and art on walls. I do more stuff like this. These soldiers right here, which I turned the Nutcracker soldiers into um, Louis Vuitton fashionistas. That's what I like to do usually. But I had this idea in my head for such a long time and I was like, I have to do this. I, I have to do it. I have this huge closet in my bedroom that has all sorts of stuff that I put in there in case I need them someday or I just want to hold on to them so I don't throw them away. In one of the corners of the closet, I had this. These are actually vinyl records. I actually got these records in a flea market a long, long time ago because I had a whole wall in my room coated with vinyl records. It was very, very cool. My room looked like a retro diner and it was very, very cool for the moment. It doesn't exist anymore. Now, these were hung on my walls for years before I took them down, but when I took them down, I discovered with time, they all got really, really scratched um, and they all got really unusable. I kept them in my closet for a very, very long time and I was thinking, oh, I'm not gonna throw these away because maybe I can do something with them like design-wise someday. And um, I've come to the conclusion that I want to make vinyl art. Now, you may say, oh my God, I can't believe you're going to do stuff with the vinyl record. You're going to destroy them. Um, you're going to be deleting history. And I would love to have these vinyl records. But let me tell you this, all of these vinyl records are hella scratched. There's no way you'd be able to play this anywhere. You probably can't see the scratches on camera. No, you can't. But um, you can't really use these records. You don't know records if they're scratched, it's just gonna skip and you can't even listen to them. I'm going to attempt doing this and I'm going to attempt creating something beautiful that maybe I can put on my wall or maybe I can give someone as a gift. And these vinyl records are going to be beautiful and going to be usable again as art because you can't play them. I don't know. I've never seen anyone do this before. I actually don't even know if it's going to work, but I'm going to attempt doing it. Let's try and find out what record are we going to be working on today. Ooh, look, I found one with Elvis on it. I'm not gonna be touching this one because I like the picture on it. Harry Como. I have no idea who this is, so I'll put this here. Maybe we're gonna use this one. Oh, look at what I found here. Lady Gaga born this way. Should I paint on this one? <laughs> no guys, I'm not going to be painting on this one. This is actually a collector's piece. There's only 5,000 in the whole freaking world of this vinyl record. I'm not gonna be painting on that, obviously. And I actually have another one here. This is the Bad Romance single vinyl. Oh, and look what I have here. The Silver Spoon vinyl a record. If you want to listen to Silver Spoon, you can actually go ahead and listen to it on YouTube. But uh, yeah, Silver Spoon actually has a vinyl record and uh, obviously I'm not going to be painting on that. Okay, so I found another really, really scratched up. Maybe you can even see the scratches on this one. It's called freaking Year of the Cat. I have no idea what that means. Um, but like, yeah, we're going to draw on this one. Ooh, I found one of Queen. Yes, this one is Queen. A Night at the Opera. This is Bonnie M, Love for Sale. Ooh. 
Guys, the ABBA. I love ABBA. This one is the best of Dean Martin. I have no idea who that is. And it's really scratched up, so we're going to be using this one. We can move aside oh, all these ones right here. Oh my god. Guys, I don't know what the hell people were thinking when they made these records, but this is not something that you can like, you know, bring with you to a part. It's very, very heavy. Anyway, let's move these aside. So guys, of course we're going to need a couple of things to do this. So let me set up this thing and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so of course you see I have a couple of things here in front of me. Of course we have our vinyl records, acrylic paint, sandpaper, brushes. Of course I have a little bit of glitter, sponge brushes, a glass of water right here so I can switch out the colors on my brushes and clean them out. So let's go ahead, flip the camera and actually show you what I'm doing instead of you looking at me from over there. Hey guys, welcome to my hands and welcome to my record. We're actually gonna start this project by using the sanding paper to scratch the hell out of this record because we don't need to use it no mo. This is actually so, so, so weird for me to do because this goes against everything I was ever taught about records. Again, if you scratch a record, you cannot ever play it again. But we have to do this because we want the acrylic paints to actually stick to the record. So we have to um, ruin it. Now I'm going in with a little bit of white paint. I know, I know, these are the boring parts. I swear it's going to get better. But it's really important to do this because it's going to smooth the surface and it's going to bring out all the pigments of all the other colors. And no, I'm not going to wait an hour for this to dry. Bitch, I got my hair dryer and um, donezo. It's dry. And now it's actually time to take a piece of paper and sketch out what I'm going to be actually putting in this art. Did you guess where it is yet? Is it a surfboard? Is it a hamburger? No, bitch, it's a UFO. <laughs> now I'm just cutting out my UFO and placing it on my record using a little bit of tape. Relax, it's not gonna stay there. We're gonna take it off later, you'll see. And I'm actually making a little beam that someone can transport himself in and out of the spaceship with yay did you think we're only gonna make one no we're gonna make three why i don't know because it's cute okay so i've made a mini one and another mini mini one they're very very cute but it's time to actually start painting this painting so like amy winehouse said i'll go back to black we're painting everything black but remember the ufos have white under them Okay, so the whole idea behind this artwork is actually to take the Aurora Lights image and flip it. So I wanted the sky to stay black, but the desert under it to be Aurora Lights colored. Again, this is what I tried to do. I don't know if it really worked because uh, I think this looks like crap. But anyway, let's move on to the sky. So for the sky, I wanted to do my favorite thing ever, which is splatter paint. It is so unexpected and you don't know what's going to happen, but that's what I love about it, I guess. So ready? One, two. Oh, look at what happened there. See, it looks like a little bit of a lightning bolt. I don't know. It's really, really cool. And it's creating like a really, really cool effect. And I really, really, really like that. Anyway, I don't know what I'm doing here, but I might have seen too many Bob Ross tutorials lately. I don't know. It's so ugly. So to compensate for the ugliness, I'm going back to my favorite technique, which is splatter paint. Yay, but this time in blue. Why? I don't know. I think it was cool, but I actually love this technique so much that I have a jacket created with this technique. And I don't know. I love it so freaking much. I don't know. Now I'm going back to my Bob Ross doing over there with my, I don't know how to even call this. This is so freaking ugly and that's why I painted over it and you know what guys when all else fails go ahead and use freaking makeup I wanted to get that Aurora lights effect I couldn't get it with my acrylic paints so I used eyeshadow yep these are actually eyeshadows it was ugly I painted over it but these were eyeshadows okay now comes the fun part we're going to reveal the white under the UFOs that we stuck on there a while ago see how it didn't get affected by anything we've done and now we actually got a negative space that we can work on and do whatever we want with it because it's already dry and we don't have to wait for it anymore do you find this part satisfying you know me peeling off the stickers if you do you're a freak i'm kidding you're not everybody likes that anyway let's go ahead and paint our ufos i'm mixing the color for the ufo which is obviously glittery oops i dropped some on my desert well you know what make the whole damn thing glittery Yep, just like that. Anyway, let's go ahead and paint our UFOs. I wanted them to be like gray, and I don't know if I really like that. It's 
really ugly so i think i'm gonna add glitter to that as well yeah <laughs> of course glitter makes everything better always remember that anyway it's time to paint our little light beam that's coming out of the ufo and i'm going to be stealing from gucci that's where i saw it i don't know if it's the original but basically the rainbow is coming out of the ufo and it's really 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 cool so i'm stealing it I'm not recommending you do this, it's really annoying, the lines are not coming out straight, and maybe I'm a bad artist, but whatever. Anyway, this is where my camera wanted to freaking die. Yep, so there's a whole section of this video where you don't get to see my amazing, amazing, amazing artwork being created. Well, whatever. It's not even that deep. It's not that important. What happened was I actually got really, really frustrated with the fact that I couldn't get the Aurora Lights effect that I wanted in the desert part of my painting. So I just wanted to kind of like paint all over it with like yellow neon eyeshadow and see what would happen. And that's what you missed. So anyway, let's go back to the painting. So as you can see, I'm using that eyeshadow really, really, really generously actually you would say that it looks like I'm on RuPaul's Drag Race and the category is a neon darling so I'm painting my face really really neon and I'm using the quantity of a drag queen so I've never seen anyone use this much eyeshadow for anything but the effect of the neon eyeshadows on this painting really really like popped i don't know it looks like kind of cool anyway i told you already i don't paint usually i don't know what i'm doing i'm using freaking makeup to do this so please bear with me anyway i don't know what's going on with me and that bob ross technique today but like damn i really am doing that today anyway it got really dirty so i cleaned everything off and put my record down again but now it's time to do my favorite thing which is creating the outline with puffy paint yeah i really really love this stuff i use it for a lot of stuff that I do actually and um, I think it makes it like a lot more cute I don't know it's shiny and it's puffy and it makes it like I don't know more poppy I don't know I really really like doing that anyway just go back 30 seconds in this video and you'll see the difference between this and what we had before it looks much 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 better anyway I'm doing another thing that I really like now which is adding gems because of course I like everything that sparkles so I separated all my pink ones and now I'm putting them up in the sky in all my shades of pink that I have and um, I don't know if it adds a lot to this painting but like you know I can't make anything that doesn't sparkle like like I I had to do it okay I just I had to do it anyway now I'm sketching out the man that my aliens are going to kidnap into the UFOs and they're going to dissect him it's not going to be pretty anyway so I'm doing it with puffy paint but I'm doing it on a separate piece of paper because I don't want to ruin everything I've done so far of course I'm going to put crystals on the man as well because I'm crazy and I don't know I just I don't know I, I don't know what's wrong with me and crystals and I don't know what's wrong with me with things that sparkle i just i have to do it guys okay i just have to anyway i'm just cutting him out of the paper and placing him on my record and putting red puffy paint around him which turned out so ugly but you're not going to be able to see what happened because my camera freaking died again i don't really know what's going on with the camera but whatever i'm just going to explain to you what i did i just put gems all over that man because i wanted to cover the ugly and that's it so this is how it turned out I kind of feel bad for winning the record for this art because I kind of think like this is the ugliest thing I've ever made in my life but you know what I had fun it took me like eight hours to make this and I don't regret anything <laughs> so anyway we got to the end of this video and if you actually liked this process and like this video go ahead and leave a like it helps the channel a lot and because this turned out so ugly I'm actually challenging you guys to recreate this art but better it doesn't have to be on a vinyl record but just go ahead and recreate this monstrosity <laughs> but better i swear this is the ugliest thing i have ever made but if you do recreate it then actually go ahead and tag me oh and of course if you want to see more of this vista which is not on the screen right now you can actually go to all my social medias that are linked down below and um follow me or of course go ahead and check out my music channel on youtube or stream my music everywhere that music is streamable in 2020 so yeah guys we got to the end of this video i know it was a really really weird one but it was fun to make i love you guys so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye